So today I have with me the Hisense HS-U909. So this is a phone made by Hisense. So let's get into this. This has 4 GB storage, 5 megapixel back and a front camera here. So I'll be doing a teardown of this, a full teardown. So let's get started. So first off we can start by popping off the back cover. That's what I did. And then I take off the battery take out the sim card and then you see one two three four five six seven eight nine nine of these screws so start opening them as you can see these are these type of screws so Phillips head screws so let's take them out so that's one two I'll be trying to uh, make more of these teardowns of other devices I can get my hands on and so you'll be seeing more of my teardowns from me in more uh, in more uploads so stay tuned that's four screws down so almost done after I'm done with the screws we pop off the back cover we pop off this and then we reach the internals, the insides, so we can see what it's really made of. That's seven screws, two left. This screws out as well. And the last one. So after we're done with that, okay, after we're done with that, we have to just use anything to get through here and there you have it you take this off from this and you reach the insides so now after this it's just the display and I'll take out this screw and this screw and see what's underneath there and this one and see what's there so let's start with this one connecting directly to the display and this one that's not a screw so I'm sorry about that looked like a screw and so we just disconnect this little Lego connector down here and we see this you can see the navigation buttons over here so now let's start with this what can we do here is this screw here I take that off and this one anymore yeah one here take that off and there's this connector which I can take off but so let's see what's here I take off this one and this one it's not coming off it doesn't want to so these ones are a bit hard to get off so we'll just forget out them since there's nothing underneath this just the display so let's connect it back together so two screws back in here I'll connect this one it's a bit hard to just put them in okay here one done here so this is the camera if you want to see it up close this is the 5 megapixel so it's tiny and I put it back I'll put this screw back in connect that again and connect this pop it back in and there we go we put it back in there we have this tiny screw close that ok 
Okay, connect that back in. So the motherboard is connected again. Nothing there. And now we can place this back. But before doing that, I'll tell you, the lens is made of plastic, so it gets scratched. So if you ever want to replace it, just pop it out like this. And then you can replace it because my one already got dirty so the camera quality has worsened because of this so you can get a replacement lens for cheap I think so it's just a piece of plastic over here so that will be easy to replace so I'm just putting back this back since I don't have a replacement lens it sticks back in so let's place this back over here just tightly connect those and then I put the screws back in the nine screws I took out So there we go. So let's go. Almost done with this. No, not almost done. So there's still a lot of time here. It takes time finish these screws so I don't know why it takes a long time this one was for here the red one as I remember this one back here Okay, disconnecting the screws, just putting them back in. Three more to go, and one here. That's annoying. Screws can get a bit annoying sometimes, so that's why I hate them. If only smartphones are without screws. But at least I don't destroy smartphones yet. Maybe I will in the near future. So, the last screw, this one. After I connect this, I can put the battery back in and put the SIM card and the battery back in and then shut it. So, that's it, done. Battery, SIM card, 